the first team, and there they are. Their hometown favorites, of course. Representing Austria. Always an exciting moment to skate in front of your friends and family. Exciting, but also a little pressure. From Austria, Elizabeth is 15, Leo is 18, and this is their first event, their 16th after the river dance, after the, after the rhythm dance, pardon me. <laughs> and here we go. And a choreographic hydroglide move to finish the program. That a new element for the ice dancers to choose from as we see the Austrians supporting them. Great side. And I think that's a good start, Ted. If that's you know, the couple that find themselves at the bottom of the pile after the rhythm dance, if they can, if we're going to have more performances stronger than that, then that's testament to the depth of the field here. Yeah, and I think that, you know, you can clearly see the plan of this team as they are at their stage of development to rush this too much, not to try to go for too many things too difficult. Keep it simple, but keep it clean. And I think they did a really nice job of that in this program as we take a look at the straight line lift. 
see that combination of turns at the end, all the features being worked to get to level four. Here, the one foot, so forward inside rocker into a backwards inside counter, forward inside bracket and finish with the twizzle. Four turns to be done. And if they're cleanly achieved, it'll be level four for both, as will be the case for many, just a level one assigned, the twizzle the easiest to get called. A little too close mm. to the twizzles here. Good extension with the free foot. As for the Group C Twizzle at the end, mindful awareness of their free legs and good match here to the choreo step sequence, that one of the most commonly chosen choreo elements for the ice dancers. Opportunity to sell the, the storyline. This is the WE soundtrack, the Wallace and Edward movie soundtrack. So we've got a theme to work with as we see the split rotational. Not coming in just at level three, so one feature not established. And this, the Coil Hydrogen Glide, Glide, well done, Ted, capturing that. that <laughs> a new element that the, the dancers can choose from. The seven different types of choreographic element they can choose from, and two have to be chosen for the juniors in the free dance this season. You're most welcome, Mark. I want to take it's care of your fun. replay descriptions and make sure that I've got a little <laughs> feature that you're looking for. So it's awesome. I'm scared for next week when it's my turn. Oh yeah, you gotta be pushing the buttons there, buddy. I'm gonna be like 8,000 kilometers away saying, what is he doing? I need that replay. <laughs> no pressure at all. <laughs> Maybe slightly. That's okay. I'm gonna enjoy, nice being, I'm gonna there, enjoy being at home. I can go up for a cup of coffee on a break. Right? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I wonder what the rink, how cold that rink will be. I gather that you're Toasty, nice yeah, and toasty it is, there. Yeah, it's very warm here. I mean, you know, because in our studio we have all the machines, right? So <laughs> no matter how cold it is out there, it warms up the room. <laughs> and I, I think this team that's interesting is I think they really enjoy this process. They want to be better, you know? They're just slowly learning all the skills and making sure they do it with quality at the stage of development they're at. And that's just perfect strategy by skaters and coach. And I think next time out and next year, you'll see them moving much faster, a little bit more aggressive, all that type of thing. And as we take a look at the scores, 55.62 for the free dance, first team out in the event. And the total competition score of 95.44 for Elizabeth and Leo from Austria.